Well, it is heart month, and the now KC's Deb Tuff has a very close connection with that disease and is here to tell us really about awareness that really hit home for you. Tell us what it happened. It really hit home. Three years ago, my brother Marcus was at the barbershop getting his hair cut mm -hmm. and started complaining that he didn't feel well. He started sweating. He asked if he could go lie down in the back room, right. and then he had a massive heart attack. Mm. 32 years old. It's not something... So young. So young. It's not something that you... Not the call that you expect to get that your brother just had a heart attack at 32 years old, and not only did he have a heart attack, he didn't survive. It's oh not, that's God. not the call that anyone should have. And so mm. I, I'm really involved in the American Heart Association as a result because I don't feel families should have to go through that because right. heart disease, it doesn't affect a certain type of person. Mm -hmm. It doesn't affect a certain age of person. It right. affects everyone. It really does. My brother was 32, Cynthia, 32. No, that's so young. So. I mean, and we just showed some pictures of yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. Just an incredible individual. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just have to say, you are an ambassador now. Yes. Uh, with the Heart Association. Right. And so you actually go out and tell people to be careful, to watch out what symptoms and signs. So to right. give us, shed some light for us this morning. Well, the number thing, a lot of people see a heart disease as a man's disease. Oh, mm -hmm. I won't get it, I'm a woman. But mm -hmm. in fact, one in three women wow. die of heart disease. Mm -hmm. And get this, every 40 seconds, someone has a heart attack. So as we're talking right now, someone is having a heart attack because mm -hmm. they're ignoring the symptoms. We aren't doctors. You know, we can't diagnose ourselves. Don't go to Google and like, well, it's just indigestion. You don't know. Right. Go to a doctor and find out. Get checked up. It's better to be proactive than sure. reactive. And then you have to have a family member who's dealing with the effects, yeah. whether it's a stroke or something or someone who passed. I would rather someone go to the doctor and just check. Please check. Like, this is a passion of mine because I, can tell. I, I, yeah. can't, I can't emphasize the hurt mm -hmm. that my family has encountered as a result of my brother dying. And I, can't, I can't let this happen to another person. So you're out there spreading the word, and yes. honestly, Deb, it's a great legacy to him yeah, yeah. that you are doing this and doing it with such passion. I can see right. the tears in your eyes, right. but you really do honestly, sincerely have that real true belief that right. this could be saving a life. So you right. probably are saving someone's life right. here today. So please, if you are listening right. and you do have any symptoms or you know someone maybe right. who is suffering and uh, has some symptoms, you just don't know what they you are. You just don't At know what they are. At least check it out. At right. least check it out. I mean, that, you, because, because men's women, men's symptoms and uh -huh. women's symptoms differ, and I'm not a doctor, so I can't pinpoint but there are doctors out there who can pinpoint it for you. So if something doesn't seem right, mm -hmm. then it probably is not right. Sure, yeah, your and body's I, trying to tell you. Your body tells you there's something there, yeah. there's something there, yeah. and I, I don't want Mark's death to be in vain. Right. I want his death to be a message to people. He was 32 years old. He had a very long mm -hmm. life yeah. in front of him, but mm -hmm. a lot of people can have that opportunity if they just get checked. Absolutely. Thank you for coming and yeah. sharing so passionately your story. And of course, we're sorry for your loss, but thank you so much for trying to take some good, right. I mean, right. some good come out of it. So, right. My loss can be everybody else's gain. Absolutely. Dead so. tough with an LKC. Thanks for sharing. Thanks, Cynthia.